Hi, this is Pad Love with Pad's Two Cents. You see the worm? Doesn't that look like a worm to you? It's not pretty, is it? It's a very inglorious appearance. There's nothing about this creature that you would wish to emulate. It's slow, it's sluggish, it can't do very much. Its abilities are very limited. Look at this, how ugly, how unattractive, how comely. But here's the thing, this is the sad part. This is how many of us, many of you, feel about yourselves. You look in the mirror and you see a very hideous looking creature staring back at you, don't you? Why? Because you've been told you're a nobody. You've been told you're a nothing. You've been treated like you'll never amount to anything. And the sad part is you have decided to believe the lies from the enemy. Now, one day, you give your heart to the Lord. And what happens? He starts to remake you, doesn't he? Life happens. And while life is happening, you realize that you're shedding your old skin. And you're taking on a new appearance, but you don't quite understand it. Because you really don't know who you are. So what ends up happening is you grow a little bit and you have to shed some more of the old you. You grow a little bit more and you have to shed even more of the old you. And then one day God tucks you into a tight situation in your life and you feel confined and you don't have room to move and there doesn't seem to be anything for you to do and you feel all cooped up and you don't like it because now things are closing in on you and it's getting tight. You can't feel the freedom of movement. You can't just do what you want to do because life has locked you down into a very uncomfortable situation. And you feel like your whole life is on lockdown and you think you've gotten the crappy end of the stick because you feel stuck and you don't like it. And what ends up happening? You want to give up. You want to throw in the towel. And then you start noticing something happening in your life. You start realizing that you start to get a little wiggle room and you feel a change coming on, but you don't understand what it is. But you know it's a change and you know this change is ordained by God. So you go with it, even though you're not really digging it, but you go with it. And you start seeing changes in yourself and you start realizing that you're really not the same person you used to see in the mirror. You're starting to take on a whole new look, even for yourself. You're beginning not to recognize the person that you're looking at now. There's a beauty taking on there's a metamorphosis taking place and you're turning into a beautiful creature because of the healing power of God. And what ends up happening? You become like the butterfly. You're coming out of your cocoon. You see the beauty shaping. And now, like the butterfly, you have to build up your muscles in your wings and the blood of Jesus flows through you and you begin to grow and grow and your wings are getting longer and stronger and longer and stronger and you go from glory to glory, from strength to strength because God has given you the victory here and God has given you the victory there and you're being healed and you're being made whole and all of a sudden one day you take flight and now you are soaring over your enemies. All of your enemies are beneath you now.
and you are taking off to the sky and you realize God is showing you that in him the sky is the limit. Why? Because you can do all things through Christ which strengthens you. Now people are looking at you and they they don't see the little ugly duckling. They don't see the little ugly worm. They see this beautiful creature. And they don't recognize you hardly because you're strong. You're vibrant. You're beautiful, full of potential, full of confidence. You've got color, a colorful personality. You've got a level of stage presence and inner strength. You know who you are. And now your life is about purpose, beauty, glorious strength. And you're letting your light shine. Now you know who you are. And you know what your purpose is in life. And you begin to beautify the world just by being you. Why? Because of the beauty God has placed within you. Look at yourself now. Look how beautiful you are. Yeah, they can't call you a worm anymore, can they? They can't call you an ugly duckling. They can't make fun of you anymore because you can do things they can't do. You know you are realizing what the word says when it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And the word that says, you are a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Isn't it wonderful when you place your life in God's hands? All that he can do through you, in you, and for you. Enjoy the new you. In the name of Jesus. Amen.